Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a spring tying hack that I learned years ago. And um, the way you tie springs typically is back to front and then horizontally. And then these will get an eight-way tie, so it'll be diagonal this way and then diagonal the other way. But when I was first starting out in upholstery, I was having a really hard time tying springs down on this uh, first set. So I would... Um, Typically the way it goes is you'll tie one spring at a time. So you would pull this spring this way, tie that down. And then this spring you would pull to that one. And then they would all be tied together. And at the very end, you would have to wrench them all down together to get them the height you wanted. And I just didn't have the strength to tie some of these springs down the height I wanted them. So I learned this spring tying hack. And I feel like I might go to upholstery jail <laughs> first teaching this on the internet um but uh, this is how I do this first set and you can adjust it so uh to make it work how you want it with your ends you know if you need your ends different heights if you want it domed or you need them flat like say you're doing a deck on a chair or whatnot so um this is just how I do this first vertical set and then horizontally I'll still do uh, two pieces of spring twine and then when I go diagonally I just do one piece so typically a lot of people will just do one piece of string twine each way so eight ways but with this hack and I like to overdo things in a sense um, this is how I do it so first I measure out my spring twine and I use polyester spring twine I do not use jute spring twine I'm not a fan but everybody uses what works for them. So I measure out four lengths. So one, two, three, four. So the the length of the springs times four. I don't mind my creaky floors. I want to cut it. And then I have my number 12 upholstery tacks back here and then also in the front and they're about halfway in so then I'll give myself about uh, 12 inches or so on one piece of spring twine and then or on one end and then on the other end it'll just be however long it is so to attach your spring twine to the upholstery tacks, you'll just hold it and flip it over like that. Oop, missed it. There we go. And then just pull it tight. And then we'll hammer these in. Okay. Okay, so first you'll take the short end or the short piece, and let me get this one out of the way. And you will just pull this piece tight so it's straight and also tight in between the rungs of these springs. And then I'll go around from the inside to the outside my upholstery tack. Is that down? Put two staples in it and then one more okay so now this is where the springs get compressed so on this first one I'm gonna push this spring down and they're hard on their own so three of them for me was just really hard so I've got the entire spring underneath this tight piece of twine, except for this top rung. And I'm gonna leave this up for right now. So then I'm gonna do a clove hitch, and this tight piece of spring twine is going to be in the center of my clove hitch. So I'm gonna take my loose piece, and I'm gonna go over and under, and then, and I'll show you this um, knot in the middle one it's a lot easier to see and then I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to come on the side towards me 
back under and then I'm gonna pull it through the loop. And like I said, I'll show you on this middle one and this one I'm gonna adjust it a little bit so it's a little bit tighter. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this top rung down to where I want it. So I'm gonna go over it and, and then under this spring twine back here and then I'll do another clove hitch. So you can also do an overhand knot, but uh, for me the clove hitch works really well with this hack. So now I'm gonna come to the side of the spring, same deal, I'm gonna go over and under and then through that hole. Now on this next one, because of the way the front of this uh, couch is, I'm going to put this whole spring underneath it. Um, alternatively, you can do it like we did on the back, but the way I want it with the height, I'm just going to push the whole thing under it, and it has kind of a nice little dome shape to it also. So same deal, I'm going to go over, under, towards the back, and I'm going to hold it, make a loop towards me, back, and then through the loop. Hopefully you can see that. So it goes around, back, down that way, up through the loop, and then pull it tight. And then on this front spring, I'm gonna do the second rung, and then also the first one. And this one I cut a little bit short, but you ideally want like 12 inches left. We don't want to run out of twine. It's not, not enjoyable when you have to redo it. So then I'll go front to the inside of this upholstery tack and around. Hit that down. And then we'll put a couple staples in it, pull it over. And one more. And that's it.